Sometimes you have to wait for inspiration to actually strike you when you are going to build. And I knew I wanted to build two bases. One is here, one is in the desert. Frankly, the resources in the desert are too good not to build a base near them. And this is the most beautiful place. Suddenly I found the inspiration. I have found the inspiration for a desert base in a Frank Lloyd Wright house. And I have found the inspiration for this base in that I already knew roughly what I was gonna build here and how I was gonna build it with chalk on top and slate underneath. But I happened to see a picture in the Vintage Story Discord by a guy called the Deaf Guy, and he has used the colour scheme I was going to use, but he's taken out the front of uh, a similar build to this, and I think I'm gonna do the same. I think it will look really, really good. I'm just gonna take a photo of this as I hover above my magic carpet. Wonderful. Okay, let's get going. Now, see I've got nothing in my hands and there, I look as if I'm about to start a boxing fight. Oh my goodness. On my bar, I have slate cobblestone, but I have this beautiful aged ashlar that I've just collected. So I think what we should do is just start drawing out where we want to go with this. Now, I've always known since I saw the site that I was going to have terraced farms. And I've just been waiting for this one. I actually want to get going on crop rotation. Two things I need for that. One is to make sure I've got all the crops the same. And I think I have here. We had N in here. Yeah, we've got 65. Ah, no, it's not all the same. I must have grown some flax. Anyway, what I'm going to do is to plant H farm with one type of seed. And hopefully, let's pop that in there. Have I got enough flax? I don't have any flax here. Let's go and get some flax seeds. Now, I'm going to have to be a little bit careful with temperature. Up here, it's already down to three degrees during the day. One step down, it's four degrees. It makes a difference. So I will be able to grow the plants that are more sensitive to temperature on the lower regions but I'm gonna take a risk on flax, see if I can get a crop out of it. Now flax is okay down to minus five. Let's see if we can get a flax crop. That's right. Right, before it freezes. Okay. Now in here, is this, yeah, this is medium fertility soil. Unfortunately, I don't have enough of the high fertility soil. We'll have to go exploring to find some more, I think. Okay, back to measuring out our build. I get a bit distracted, but you have to keep up with the farming. And talking of that, A little bit short on some of the wall down here. That's fine. I need wall there. Okay. Now coming over here. Mm. 
where we want to start is actually at this level. This is ground level here. So we want to take that one out and I'm gonna use these ashlar bricks. So I think they're pretty gorgeous. I'm hoping I can reach this. Let's see if we can. That's it. And then we want to come out another one. Yeah. And then out again to come out by three. I like building in threes. Come out by another one. Then here, we will have one. Let me do this from above. It's going to be easier, isn't it? Let me just look at the effect from over here. Yeah, that's going to work. Those blocks are gorgeous, aren't they? They pick up the colour of the chalk. Okay, let's come over here. How's that looking from in here? Yeah, that's right. So then we would need, that's one, two, three, yeah. One, two, three. I'm just gonna keep going with the soil here. So this one, go there. God, this reminds me of building circles in Minecraft, it really does. Or indeed of my first base. One, two, can I get back there? Yes, I can. Two. Three. That's even. And then we come out to here. Oh my goodness. That works. Perfect. Let's just pop soil in then I don't sort of fall into a hole. So we're going to move out to here. So have I anything on the side of this? Yes, I have. I have a lantern. Let's pop that lantern there in the middle. And then we're going to move this. Out. So that that goes... Now this is where we have to be careful. Is that big enough? Always the question, isn't it? Do we just take it this far or should we go five here? We're gonna go five. All right. So it's one, two, three, five. Right, there we go. One will go there, one will go there. That's it. We'll sort out the floor in a minute. further. Two. Three. 
three. Yes. I think I'm going to thank myself later for the extra room. I need to eat something before I starve here. Now let's, while we eat, let's go down and have another look. Such a pretty place here. And everything we do, I hope, will make it look prettier. Yes. The five is definitely better. That's right. So, this one. come out so it's going to look cantilevered out as opposed to being properly supported to start with it's okay and then up here Three there. That's wrong. Okay. That will be that. Let's just see how that looks. Whoa. Uh, <laughs> I just, just don't want to fall through the floor till I've got it sorted out. There's nothing on that pillar. Okay. And that one will go up there. So this, yeah, that's going to come this way. Now, I'm not, I don't envisage at the moment going out to the side. The nice thing about building is you can always make it match what you want, can't you? Okay, let's make that a straight line at the moment. Gosh, that's a pretty block. Oh, in fact, we'll take that out and put that until we decide what we're doing with it. And we'll have to go down and collect blocks. Let's not disturb that at the moment. Yeah. I've got I'm carrying a bit of firewood here. Let's just uh, put this down. There we are. See how that looks. It's funny, if you build too small, you always regret it. If you build too big, it never seems to be a problem. And those of you who know me and have watched me build before, you know that I do tend to build large. Okay. Let's pick up all our blocks. And yeah, I think that's gonna look really nice. Now, the next thing is the next layer, of course. I would like to put plain blocks under there. I think it will look spectacular. Let's see how we get on with that one. Now, I've got slate sand and I've got slate rock. Actually, the sand I've got a hammer and a chisel. And what I think I might do, yeah, let's start with the rock. That's that one. I'm thinking of uh, not alternating, but I'm thinking of putting slate rock in one area and then 
slate sand in another. So I'm thinking that is going to be slate rock. So that's one, two. Gosh, it's gorgeous, can you? Gorgeous colour. Yeah, that's going to have to be thought about there. And then I would like to put, uh, let me get this out of the way. So I want six, one, two, three, five. And then this one will be that. That's it. And I would like to put that one there and then slate sand. Does that work? Is it too pale looking from a distance? Does it all have to be slate rock? No, I think that does work. But what we're going to have to do, not that one, hammer, is to turn them into chiseled blocks. Otherwise, every time I move, they will just fall out. Yeah, I think that's going to look good. Let's get a hammer out. And while we've got these three here, let's start building these up a bit. Wow, that's an open path for drifters. Only at the moment. Where's my hammer? Right. Let's go and see if we can turn those into chiseled blocks yeah that's already looking good isn't it i hadn't thought of putting a sort of bay here but the the deaf man did which i think is pretty good going so let's Two, four, nice. Then we put that there. And if we go for slate again, one, two, three, four, yeah. Two, three, four. These now become chiseled blocks. Yeah, and they are the same colour, that beautiful, beautiful slate colour. Right, we're going to come out at the same level here. We're not going to go down. This is a, a fairly regimented build. To... Oops. Gonna work, is it? Three, four, one, two, three, four. Let's have another look. I can tell this is going to be my little vantage point. There's always one, isn't there? Yes, that looks great. And this mirrors what the cliffs look like around here, too. Now, on the front, I want to try to get to a position where we have the slate rock, if I have enough. And I will to start with. Slate rock, yeah. Why did I come up with five there? One, two, three, four. That's fine. Okay. So we get two, three, four. 
five. Yes. Don't have enough of the rock. Two more. Yeah, I think let's just make sure that these are chisel blocks. Yes, these are. It was those two odd ones that weren't. Yeah. And this is going to be storage under here eventually. Eventually. It's a long way down the line at the moment. Let's go and have another look. Yeah, that's going to work beautifully. I am liking that. Wow, it's going dark already. Good heavens. How are the bees? Yeah, thriving. We need another scap or two. Well, it's a beautiful morning and progress has been made. I have been building out here. We now have a lot more room. What was that? Oh, it was a carrot. I am unconvinced by having this here, but we can always take down this bottom bit and just leave the top bit to put the tower around to give ourselves a bit more room should we wish. However, this is not bad amount of room. We have a forge here. We can put perhaps two or three more around this central column should we wish. Let's go and have a look at it. I've been building up. I'm not sure this area is tall enough yet. Let's go and have a look. It might be that we just have to go up a little bit more to get the proportions right. That's always the, the key test, isn't it? You can measure all you like and think about it. Oh no, those proportions are looking reasonably good. These ashlar bricks are gorgeous. Whoops, I've got a lot of leftover blocks here. Let's just gather all those up. Don't want to leave any blocks behind. Yeah, and I've extended this area, which will be for bees at the bottom here. Needs a bit of filling in underneath. It's going to look pretty, isn't it? Does that look right? Do we need to go higher? with the top bit. That's the the real question I have. You don't actually want it too high. And have you noticed how I've got walnut there? It's the most perfect colour with this slate. I just wonder whether I should have got one block lower with this slate area. I think I might. However, we will just think about that. It's starting to look reasonably good, but I do need to do a little bit of harvesting. Wow, stunted due to heat. Seven degrees, good grief. I'm not sure that the heat is working perfectly here. Now, what I would like to do is we've done a lot of building. So I think my next step is to do a little bit more adventuring. Let's just pop it there. Beautiful, beautiful block. And again, look at this colour. It matches perfectly what I'm trying to do here. I have decided that as soon as the last crops are done here, which they are, that I was going to 
alter this. It's not functioning as a rabbit trap. So I think we're going to amend this. But in the meantime, we will drop our flax off. And I do think it's time that we did go and do a little bit of adventuring. So this is where we keep our flax. I have so much flax grain, I'm just going to take it with me and eat it. Seeds go in there. All right, I want to take that with us. That looks fine. Okay. Now, where I want to go adventuring is I want to go, I think, I'm not sure what I've got here, whether this is shale or andesite, but I want to go and have a look. So if we're going to go that way, we are going to go this way, isn't it? Let me make sure. It is. Okay. Right, let's go adventuring and we will pick things up en route. We will eat en route but where we will go is our known route around the edges here and I want to go and see what that other rock is I was hoping it was andesite but I have a feeling that it's not I have a feeling it might be shale devil's belite ha 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 yeah we know you mate Oh, wow, we've got chickens over here. We're going to have to grab some chickens at some point. What are you? Carrots, nice. Okay. And then up here, this looks... Is this gravel? Oh, my word. That's a dead cave. I've already seen that. No, this is the most beautiful lupin area. Mmm. What have we got down here? Flax. You can never have too many flax seeds. Or too many sticks for that matter. Oh, this is lovely. Yeah, this is an area that if we want flowers, we could come and raid. Okay. In the meantime, oh, wow. Amaranth, yes please. Wow. I've already got six of those. Let's eat that to start with. Yeah, the chickens are definitely in this direction, aren't they? And this looks like low fertility soil all around here. As you would expect, if you look at the colours. Right. It's sometimes easier to see the colours in the winter, isn't it? Oh, wow. Food. Nice. So pretty, isn't it, all of it? Ah, of course. We come to the lake where we were hoping to live, which turned out to be a constant source of rain, rain and more rain. Goodness me. Every seed known to man. Right, I'm full. Gosh, more seeds here. Mm. 
good. I am going to wend my way. Now, what is this soil? Medium fertility. It's getting dark. Now, I don't see any ruins. I do see ruins, actually. Oh, my word. Well, I could already... Let's get our light on our bar. Gosh. Oh, my word. <gasps> oh, good grief. Yeah, that's not one to go down into. Let's mark that as a cave entrance. Uh, we will see that later. Right. But there are ruins up here. Oops, and more food. Look at all this. Okay. I'm still eating my way through this flax. Oh, we've got copper here. Gosh. Now, where am I headed? Oh, we've got Lily of the Valley. Oh, we haven't got that. Oh, lovely. Wow. This is a plant I haven't come across before in this map. See, we're still on chalk. Right. Where are we headed? <laughs> Towards rabbits. It's pretty. Look, it's a huge moon. Look at that. Travelling by moonlight. Fantastic. I am going to take the lily of the valley while I'm here. Lovely. Right. I wonder if these are ruins over here or whether they're just a sand or gravel patch. Should we have a quick look? Yeah, we're coming on to sandstone. No, I think it's just a sand or gravel patch. Right, let me get my bearings again. Ah, there's a trader we haven't been to in that direction. Let's go to that trader and see what he or she is. Oh, copper. Wow. And of course it's raining. This area, I liked the look of the lake to live by, but oh my goodness, the rain. What is that? Sandstone, a stone that we are not used to at the moment. Ooh. <laughs> right, big cave. I uh, know we're, we're doing them in purple, aren't we? Right, now where's that trader? Just up there. Oh, traveling through the dark and the rain. <gasps> and the trouble is, oh, crikey. Oh, my word. Gosh. in scrubland I 
going to? Just a bit up here. And we should see a trader's light soon. Goodness me, what a night to be out traveling. Oh, this trader hasn't got a light. Oh, he's an agricultural trader. <laughs> Agri trader. Okay, disappointing, but there we go. While we are here, I just, yeah, we can get to this quite easily in the morning. Where am I? Press the space bar to center, Liza. Oh, there are ruins down here. Should we want them? I'm not sure we do. And then there are more ruins over here. And I want to see what this stone is, so we only have to get down to here. Yeah, there's all sorts of stuff here. Nice. Do we see another trader anywhere? There's one down here. We're generating new land there. There's the trader. I love the colored maps. People say it's too easy to find things. And I say, I love it. I love exploring, but I do love going from trader to trader. It's something that I thoroughly enjoy. What else we've got? That's a very verdant area there. Okay. Let's centre ourselves again. Oops. Let's come out of there. Let's uh, move that off my bar. Empty hand. Hello. I think I've just got anything to trade, Guild. Ooh, flax seeds, honeycomb. Night. They do sell fat. That could be very useful if I had... Oh, they buy linen sacks. Those are... Oh, we're near wolves. Let's go to sleep. I will see you in the morning, guys.